Right, there we go. He's after the crazy move and everything else. Both the rods are out. Um, I didn't realize it was going to be sunny and like on and off today. I knew it was going to fall. It said low pressure raining, but my forecast keeps messing up a little bit. Um, so that's start like using like three of them. But if you know about carp, low pressure, boom, they love it, honestly. High pressure, Easter weekend, rubbish. <laughs> so uh, you learn that with carp fishing, right? Low pressure. Just go on the weather forecast, look on low pressure. And trust me, you catch double as much as you will on high pressure, unless you're zig fishing or fishing off the surface. Um, I even notice it in my tank, my fish. Um, I'll show you my carp soon, the ones that I'm on about. It's that when it's high pressure, they're in the top, low pressure on the bottom. Um, even when you still get them on top uh, when it's low pressure, but generally they get their heads down more. Um, that's why I wasn't too keen when the sun come out. And uh, I've been fishing, I didn't fish all weekend because of the back of the summer high pressure and Easter weekend I thought I'm not even bothering going out. Um, but I went out and I got absolutely annihilated fishing for wild carp on the old river. It was brutal, man. Honestly, two and a half hours in the rain. No brolly. Took me an hour to ride there. Well, 40 minutes to ride there, 40 minutes back. And sat there for two hours and just pure rain just stood behind my rod. I posted up a video afterwards. It was brutal. But I was pretty confident I was going to get a bite. But I didn't get one, I think, because it dropped by 10 degrees. You know, it made a big difference to the fish. Really put them back. So we've had that crazy warm weather and then it's been cold again. Well, not cold, but it's dropped by 10 degrees. So for wild fish, it's not the best. Just commercials. Oh, oh, wow, you know what those is, you know what I mean, like council pond or whatever. Um, day ticket water, you can uh, bag up high, low pressure, whatever, but generally low pressure is always better. It doesn't matter if you even go to a commercial, you still catch. You just won't catch as many as you would as low pressure. And people will be like, yeah, I go to commercials and I catch 20 when it's sunny. Yeah, you probably do. You'd catch 40 if it was low pressure. <laughs> Trust me. Um, but yeah, if I knew it was going to be this nice today, I would have got the float out. Um, but that, honestly, that guy earlier, that was just rude in my opinion. Okay. Maybe not. Yeah. Three of these little tins for 120, uh, for a pound, sorry. And it's amazing when you think about it. I've gone through half a tin already. Um, because it's good for me, like most people like to buy a kilo. Like you can just buy a kilo, obviously it's going to be cheaper. But then you've got to defrost it and mess around with it all the time. When you've got it in kit and in the tins, much easier. Long as you don't need the tins on the bank. But when I'm like fishing, uh, if I buy three, for example, like later on, if I want to go tent fishing, I've got the bag ready. It hasn't been outside. Like tss, the corn goes off really quick, you know. It's like really two days it go off, or even a day normally in the sun. So that's why I prefer the cans. So I buy it in cans. You may notice not in kilos, just purely because of the convenience of where I'm fishing. Um, but when I'm going away, I buy like three or four kilos of it. So I will be when I go away. Right. Anyway, I'm gonna bait up another swim, obviously, another area. Because uh, I want to put my eggs in one basket now, do I? But you notice, even places like this, or um, what's it called? When you hear on like linear and everything, it's called the ring and the thing about the, the dinner bell when you're spotting. But here we don't spot, no one spots here. You can obviously spot, but people just don't because it's uh, oh, sorry, the wind. People don't spot because there's no point. <laughs> Everything you can put out by hand, really. The only thing obviously we struggle is a little bit of particle. Um, but most people just feed fish with catapults, like I do, or feeders, you know. Uh, like I said, this is not like a top, not you know, top water, it's just like a, it's a ticket. You buy a ticket for the year, you know what I mean? You get like a couple of lakes on it, and this is one of them. The park, lake, slash council pond, you know what I mean? Um, but that's some good fish in it. And it's cheap. And like I said, I've got blanked three times this week. So, no videos. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, I don't want to be posting up blanks all the time. But, uh, like today, I'm fishing for myself today. I don't care about you guys. <laughs> it's about my own enjoyment. <laughs> Yeah, basically, when you have a lot of blanks, you need to catch fish, man. And uh, if it's nothing that makes you tidy with your rigs and everything else, it makes you a little bit neater. Right, I've been here about 20 minutes now. I'm not liking this sun, even though I don't want to be sat in the rain without the rain. You can't. So it's one of them, you know, double edged sword in it, you know? But yeah, I'm just, you know, putting corn out. 
and uh, just a couple of packs, not much, any tiny bit of pellet because I ain't got much and I ain't spending loads of money here like I always say. Didn't want to use my chickpeas today, but Billy only been with tin opener. That wasn't a smart move. Um, but yeah, originally I wanted to do some float fishing today and some tent fishing, but I thought the weather was going to be a lot worse. As you can see, I'm dressed up like an Eskimo, um, but it's really sunny and everything now. Um, so I'm not sure. Let me see another carp fishing days. Charge it around. That's a cracking fish. Really? You've been fine the whole time. Look at that. Relax. Go on, look at that. I'm not holding it out. It's about 13, 14. Look at that, immaculate fish. 
Oh, and people always give me shit about these lakes, eh? Look at that. Absolute banger. Hey, people go on about these fish in little lakes. Boosh, look at that, little 10 mil boardy, size 12 hook. That's what we're talking about. I can't even find my baiting needle either. But yeah, I'd say he's about 13 pound. But yeah, you can't mind about that, eh? Boom, 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 happy days. Lovely fish, absolute cracker. All right, mate, make sure I've got a good picture. There we go. Look at that, absolutely immaculate. Stunner. I've got to try and find my baiting needle now. <laughs> All right, chill out, mate. Chill out, chill out. Happy days. All right, here we go, guys. I've had to make a baiting needle. <laughs> it's got that bad. Had to make a baiting needle. It's just started to rain as well. So I'm get this straight out. Lovely little mirror. Nearly a couple of pounds. Sorry, right, mate. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. I'll show you the baiting needle I've just made. I've lost mine. Okay. Yeah, we got 
Yeah. Right, I ain't gonna go too crazy with him because he literally is a couple of pounds. Lovely little fish, though. Really spazzing him out like the other one. But yeah, he's actually a really nice looking fish. He's just a bit bat tail and that, but actually got weird scales on him. Oh, that's where he's obviously damaged there, obviously. Got a bit of scarring, whatever's been going on with him. But there we go. <laughs> Look at him. Really skinny. Definitely needs some weight. But his mouth's alright now. He just obviously needs a bit of food, doesn't he? He obviously wanted that luncheon meat though, didn't he? It's really funny because I believe you've only got one more fish in that other rod. It's just on the margin because uh, basically I had to go and try and find my bait and needle what I can find. I still got my bait on, so happy days. Just put it back that way. Right then, guys. As uh, Bear Grylls would say, overcome and adapt. Look what I've done. I've made my own baiting needle. I literally, what I did is, I've got an old pole float and I use my forceps to bend it. I ain't packing up because I ain't got a baiting needle. You know, that is the most annoyingest thing ever. So make sure you've got your baiting needle. Don't be a rookie like me. Oh, I have got it. I just lost it yesterday, I think, when I was wild fishing and then I just lost the spare one. What, like the likelihood of that happening was just, you know, all in two days, it's just crazy. No doubt when I pack up, I find it, but when I move because of that person, <laughs> I uh, lost it. So I have to keep this one safe now. My right, guys, got a little talk talk. Why well, is a little bit quiet? Um, I'm talking about low pressure and my channel, okay? Um, low pressure, honestly, you've got to check your low pressure. You want to be catching a lot of fish to do with weather, not just because you want to go fishing. I learned that one a lot. I go fishing sometimes for the sake of fishing because I like going out. But as long as you understand that, you don't expect much. You know, you get your levels right. But it's like today, you know, it's low pressure, but it's on and off sunny. So it's like every time it overcasts and it looks like it's going to rain, you get a run. Every time it gets sunny and the fish go up, it's just like constant. Um, if it was raining all day today, I guarantee you'd all have had about 10 fish by now. And that's what I mean with not commercials, just like normal waters. Ah, this is like a commercial, but it's not, if that makes sense. A commercial, you would bag up. I would, what I'm doing today, I'd probably have about 30 fish if I was like some places I know. Um, but like here, like I said, it's, it can be way on and off, but because um, it's to do with weather, do you know what I mean? Um, so I'm hoping, now it's got overcast and that again, I should start getting some more runs. But it does do that if you notice you've watched any of my videos when it's like what i call this like, like average weather for the uk um i'll have a run straight away when i first get here goes quiet normally I have like one or two fish goes quiet for two hours then you get another couple of runs or a run and it goes quiet that's just where it always goes down here until like you know proper low pressure and it's raining and then you say, run after run after run you know but um, that's the difference between fishing low pressure and everything. And everything else is just my channel. Uh, the things that I've been doing on my channel. Um, there. Look, Pete Weirdo talking to a, a, a brolly. Um, but yeah, the things I'm going to be doing on my channel. Basically, um, it's just showing the fishing that I'm doing. I will do fishing that people ask for to a certain extent. If you want me to go to a commercial or do something like that, I don't mind doing it. Um, but I'm not going to be going to linear and play. I cannot be bothered. I'm not going to lie. I've, I've done all that before. And it really isn't my type of fishing. And like I say, people go, oh, it's really great when you catch big fish. Yeah, I've caught big fish. I'm not really interested in big fish. Um, it costs too much money. It's too commercialized and it's a pain in the ass. Um, like this, I've come down here with tins, two tins of corn. I've had, two, I've had one night's cracking fish already. It's cost me nothing, man. I, I, I ride my push bike everywhere, like I say. Um, and the last four trips have been brutal, man. I, thought, I should have been just recording sometimes, um, but they were brutal, man. I'm in proper blanks, and harrowing rain. I, like I said, I'll post a little video at the end of it, show you what I mean. Um, but that's the type of fishing I like doing, you know. I'm not going to change the type of fishing because of YouTube, you know. I'm not going to do it because people want me to do this. You know, I'm going to go fish the how I fish, and if people enjoy it, enjoy it, aren't they? You know, I'm not going to start like fishing linear and spotted and that just because people want me to, you know. Um, I like to keep my things like how normal people fish. I know a lot of people fish, you know, spotting and all that, but I guarantee you, them are not watching my videos, are they? You know what I'm saying? It's just something about normal people, just fish little waters, you know? Just trying to catch a couple of carp, you know? So yeah, my videos would be going very from float fishing to feeder fishing to carp fishing. Um, you notice if it's raining and that, I don't float fish, I normally just carp fish. So I've learned about sitting in the rain and stuff. 
I did have a good peg today, what I thought I could have been. I would have caught a load of fish off a float, I know I would have. But like I said, the guy turned up and it was just no one here. And I'm not fishing next to someone. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I'd just rather reel in and go move somewhere else. Um, the thing I've learned about carp is like, it's just showing me already down in the margins. And I know all this stuff, but it's like, if the fish don't know they're being fished for, they're really easy to catch. And if you know a lot of anglers, they know what I'm saying. Um, if the fish do not know they're being fished for, you can catch them. It sounds like an oxymoron, but um, if you, you know, if you catch them off the top or you sometimes catch them down the margin, you know what I'm on about. The fish don't know they're being fished for, so they grab anything. Your hook bait can be whatever. Your, your rig could be the shittest rig ever because they're just not feeding the way they would over a baited area. A baited area, they, they know, you know, they come in and they just pick up a bit, swim off, come back, a little bits, so and you just keep doing it like that. You know, to eventually there's nothing left or there's hardly anything, just your hook bait. So, it's the difference when you're fishing for fish what ain't being, what you know, don't know we're being fished for. Like when I float fished over there on the video with the float, and I caught one straight away. Like, I know for a fact I could have come here at six o'clock, probably about half six this morning, seven morning, seven o'clock, got the float out, fished down the margin, I guarantee I'd have had two fish, and I wouldn't put any bait out hardly, purely because I know they come in this area. As I can tell by the liners that I've had this morning, um, they always come into the shallow water, um, just scabbing anything they can, any free bread, and anything. So even a piece of meat or something down there, guaranteed to get a run, you know. Um, and that's why if you sneak in the fish out, your rig doesn't really matter, honestly. It's just your presentation. That's the main thing, the presentation. Um, I've got a pop out, I'll pop out at the moment, just because purely I was getting a bit of crap back on my hook and that was annoying me. Um, it's a fairly silty lake, a lot of leaf matter and stuff. So. Yeah, basically I've uh, cast it out over there. I'm hoping now, as you can see, it's getting dark and gloomy. Um, I'm hoping that's gonna switch the fish on a little bit. I'm gonna put out some pellet and that and get fish in. We say, things not happen, you gotta make things happen. Like, I had one rod was tangled a minute ago, the other rod, I don't know, I just didn't like the hook link. I didn't have one run on it. So it's like, if you didn't get one run on your hook link, just change the hook link. It's not, you know, there's no point just keep fishing with it if you're not catching. The other rod's just going, going, going. There's something there, you know, what's going on. So that's what I think, you know. Here's one for you. Someone was saying to me the other day, what I just literally was cringing. It was on the, the boilie scam video, right? Um, the carp that where I fish for, only the carp only take boilies. <laughs> what are you all about, dude? That's what he said. Carp only take boilies. It's like, mate, go and watch some top, top. And he's, you know, he's obviously talking about some super lake that carp only take boilies. Like, you're off your tits, dude. Honestly, if you're that weird about fishing, you think they, they just go for um, boilies, honestly, you, you, you need a lot to learn, mate, you know? I'm a little noddy, sat here like that, and even I know that, you know? Boilies, trust me, they're not, it's like anything. If you fish for, if you fish for, if I only fish corn on this water, they're gonna get spooky corn. If I fish pellet, they're gonna get, you know? It's just common sense to me, but some people like, only eat boilies, only catch one corn in there, mate. <laughs> it's like, if anyone ever says that, just you know they're talking rubbish. It's like, yeah, you might have only caught on corn, but it doesn't mean they will only be caught on corn. No, certain fish I have known that to take certain baits, all right? But not every fish, there's gonna be, say there's 200 fish in a lake, man, 75% of them are gonna be eating whatever you chuck out. It's like, you know, you do get, um, you know, obviously really, 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 really sneaky fish. Like, if you watched any of the underwater quarter stuff, um, like the little plated, I think it was, I've been caught for like three years. It's like, everyone's fishing for it. Why is that? Because he's a smart fish, isn't he? Hey, sneaky Dave, <laughs> linear. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, you can have 30 anglers on a lake, you know, for months on end and not catch a certain fish because they are being funny on certain things. But to actually think that, like, 200 carp don't eat boilies, uh, only eat boilies, your oh, tits, man, they eat everything. They love it, you know? It's just like I said, if you, if you, if the fish didn't know they're being fished for, you'd catch them all the time. As soon as they know they're being fished for, it's just, it's so funny, man. And the reason why I clicked on that a lot is because obviously I do a lot of um, what you call uh, wild fishing. And when they know they're being fished for, it's virtually impossible. Like, they're not, like I keep saying, they're not a commercial. They don't have to take my baits. So they just spit, they just spook out, ooh, gone, that's it. You're like, oh, okay, is that my opportunity gone? That's it, they won't come back because they're wild fish. It's just, that's what I've learned. Um, especially spooky fish in certain lakes. Obviously every lake has spooky fish, what are overly spooky to things. I remember one lake I heard that there was a, a carp with a deformed bottom lip, overbite. He couldn't get hooked up. All the hooks were missing his bottom lip. He was massive. He was like, I can't remember what it was, but it was about 28, 30 pounds or something stupid. And I was like, that's insane, isn't it? 
because he wasn't getting caught because he had the form lipped. <laughs> but yeah, so there was always sneaky fish in certain lanes. Like that mirror I caught, you can tell that I haven't been caught loads. Like I'm macking it mouth, a lot of match anglers fish here. Um, and that fish bolted off and I caught it where not a lot of people would normally fish. Because I'm always fishing in weird spots. I always like to fish weird spots where people don't fish. Because like I said, the fish know they're being fished for, they act even more spookier. I'm thinking wrong, obviously, put in bait areas, blah, 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 it works, obviously. But people know what I'm all about, especially when you margin fish and stuff like that. You can just boom, you're in like, you're probably PB down a margin at night. There's a reason for it, because fish don't know they're getting fished for. Go on, scabbing. Right then, guys. I think I'm going to shoot on now. Um, it's been really hit and miss today. I definitely thought it was going to be better today after all that rain. But to be fair, I have new swims. I lost my baiting needle. Um, so adapt and they become <laughs> I thought I was done I thought I was to pack up um, I thought I was a couple of fish what I'd already baited up and that was it I went and looked for it I couldn't find it anywhere but anyway I've had a good session um, um, I've had a good session but I thought uh, definitely I think I could have fished better today you know that times you know when you fish a lot I could have fished better I think um, a couple of things uh, messed around I had a hook pull as well for fish a minute ago about half hour ago and uh, I think it was quite good fish as well but um, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. These things happen, you know. But I had a number, I had a bream as well. It's just. using a little white dumbbell and the reason why I know it's got done because I had a little lead shot on it. Pulled it down and uh, it's gone. Right anyway um, it's not a bad session but I've got a sneaky little plan if it works out you see it otherwise this is the end of the video. Sorry guys um, wish I could have done a little bit better to be honest uh, you know it's fishing isn't it you, can, you know um, sometimes you fish better than other days but losing my baiting needle was not a good idea and choosing the swim that I chose again backfired um, it's a really good swimmer, there's no one there. The typical guys end up right opposite me, you know. That's, so that's why you've got a backup plan. So I've got a backup plan again, because I'm off my tits. <laughs> um, I know what it's like, I'm gonna be really busy soon, so I won't be able to fish as much as I normally do. So I really want to get my fishing on. I mean, the missus is moaning a little bit, but you know, I don't care. <laughs> I like fishing too much. <laughs> right, anyway guys, ciao for now. Boom, thank you very much, like and subscribe. And don't forget, look at some of my old videos. I've got some Park Lake carp fishing, um, and I had a real nice fish out of one of those lakes. Um, have a look, and it's only like a two and a half foot lake, deep lake. Um, yeah, so I've had to um, check out some of my old videos. Don't forget, Fighting Fisherman number nine on Instagram. Bye bye.